Hello people, today I have another recipe video for you and it is banana pudding. Northerners. I did not grow up on banana pudding. My husband loves banana pudding. I don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I've also never tried this recipe. I found a really good recipe online or really good, supposedly really good. I'm going to let you know how it really tastes. You know how we do the taste test at the end of this video. Um, but we're actually having a guest over tonight. Again, we always have someone over, but tonight uh, our guest requested this dessert, which is actually quite expensive when I went to the store to buy all everything that I needed. Um, I mean, it's not like crazy expensive, but I was like, banana pudding, oh, it's just a couple things, and then it ended up being like $15. Anyway, um, we're gonna make it, and supposedly this is the best. So, I'm gonna show you what you need. Okay, so here we go, here's everything. I actually bought whole milk. If you, you guys know me, you know uh, that I like to do dairy-free things, but this recipe, it's just not possible. If you've ever made pudding before with almond milk, <laughs> you'll know that it just does not work out the right way. So I bought, um, you need three cups of milk. This is sweetened condensed milk. It's like four, 12 or 14 ounces or something. What is that, 14 ounces. Um, a box of vanilla wafers, two boxes here, for French vanilla instant pudding. So um, apparently that's way better than normal vanilla. Eight ounces of cream cheese and then a package of Cool Whip. And then you're also going to need a 13 by nine inch baking pan. And then let me see if I can get this in one shot and you can screenshot it right there. Those are the directions that I just um, wrote down really quickly from the computer. Gotta love Pinterest. Oh, and then the star of the show, some bananas. <laughs> Uh, you need four bananas, four, or maybe, oh, there's five there, maybe. Um, the normal recipe that this came from, the original recipe says like, uh, I think six to eight bananas, but I don't, we're gonna see how this works out, okay? Okay, so first off, we're just gonna cut four bananas. Okay, first you're supposed to line an, a 13 by nine inch baking sheet with vanilla wafers, just one layer of them. Is that good? Should I put more? I don't know. I don't know the rules of banana pudding. It's the first time, my first time guys. All right, and then you put the bananas straight on top. Okay, this is four bananas. I'm gonna cut maybe one or two more. All right, is that good? Should I do more? Should I take some away? What should I do? Is that good? I'm asking you guys. Yes, no, maybe a little more? Maybe one more. All right, so all in total, we did six bananas. I don't know, guys. That looks pretty delicious, if I do say so myself. I wasn't recording. Oh, this S is bananas. Anyway, <laughs> I know you guys love my singing. Two boxes of French vanilla into the three cups of milk, Rattler. prefer French vanilla over normal vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna whisk, wix, wix, whisk. There we go. I'm going to whisk this in my KitchenAid attachment uh, just for a few minutes until it's combined. Okay, while that is whisking together, I'm going to put eight ounces of cream cheese with the sweetened condensed milk. Oh, this is messy already. Oh my God, come on muscles! Got it. But I'm all woman. I should have softened up the cream cheese first, huh? I wasn't thinking. I was excited. I was too excited, guys. 
look how good that looks. Alex used to eat this stuff just straight out of the can on top of ice cream. The good old days. Memories. Oh my gosh, my muscles. I should have put this in the KitchenAid. <laughs> All right, and then you're supposed to fold in the Cool Whip. Boom. Ooh, this is a very technical fold. Okay, and then you add this to our sweet, sweet pudding mixture now. That is soft set. See how this tastes. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna throw this back in my KitchenAid until it's just blended. Just quite. Okay, I was getting a little nervous. We might lose our, our fluffy, all that air. So I'm just gonna fold this in. There it is. Oh yeah. Alright, and here's the money shot. Pour this in right on top of all of that. wafers right on top. Okay, now I assume I pop this into the fridge until it's time to eat. <laughs> um, Eleanor's head. Eleanor? It's what? pretty good, Mom. It's not it's really. It's delicious. Oh, you got it on your thing. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. It's, it's good, though? Oh, that's awesome. One out of ten. What would you rate it? A ten? One out of ten. How about nine out of ten? Right. <laughs> hey, nine still an A, right? Nine is good. Still an A. That's I'm good. Nine out of ten. When nine be, when would be like nine point five would be failing. No. I'm doing no, that. like one. One is the worst. Ten is the best. Yeah. Except you do nine you is do the do worst. Ten. Or you just you say. Do Alright. You give it a 10, Avelina? Oh, I'm so surprised that you like it. I'm so happy. Alright, out of a... It's like saying, like, alright, is it a C, C, A to C, give it a grade. And it's like, oh, C, still passing. <laughs> so you don't give yourself the, bo the bar low enough. What you can't, can't fail. Can't fail. What if, like, a really little good and zero is, like, eight? Mm. Right. right, that's right. Okay. What would you rate it, Avelina? Oh, look at that. That's so crazy. Nothing is as good as brownies, though. This is way better than brownies. <laughs>